All right. So this is going to be my confessional for scab. This. My name is Sandra Friedman. This is scab hunt number twelve for me. I have scabbed from two thousand one to the present, two thousand twelve. I have been in the hunt in two thousand two. I helped start Gash in two thousand eight after scabbing for Snitchcock for seven years. I do road trip coordination. But here's the thing that's really awesome. Um, I've done this year. It is not even not 9, 10 a.m. And I made a rock this morning. That's why my hands are all icky. And I'm really excited about scab. And I'm sleep deprived. Hooray! But I made a rock. Biggest rock is best rock. We've gotten past the initial post hunt, or the post list release. There's like a surge of terror of we're never going to be able to do any of these things uh, because their answer isn't immediately apparent, which I, I'm starting to realize is an annual tradition of the, the post list panic of like we don't have enough people signed on to everything right now. Um, so we're past that. Now we're having a pretty good time. There's, you know, I'm constantly surprised by going around to people at headquarters and just saying, is anyone doing this? And hearing yes, and it's done, um, which is great because I don't check the database nearly as often as I should. Um, yeah, people are getting their own shit done. Yeah, we don't even have page captains, so... I just want to confess that I love everybody on our team, and I think they're all super swell. And... That's it. There's nothing... There's nothing really dramatic about our team. We're just really nice people. Rob? He's such a little bitch. I cannot deal with him one more minute with the, the incessant yapping and the hooting and the... <sighs> I got nothing to confess. Kid had it coming. Got out of line. It's a cap thing to do, right? Gotta keep people in order, gotta make sure that things happen. So yeah, I throw a punch. I had to do it. You'd have done the same. I had ideas for the War Table game. No, they don't like that. I had ideas for the spinning like Miami Marlins statue thing. They didn't like that. I had, like, I had ideas for the puzzles. They didn't, like, I don't know even why the fuck I'm here. I, I didn't get any sleep last night. I, like, there's just fucking turrets everywhere that are freaking me the fuck out. Um, I, I just need to go to home. I can't... There are three days left. I, I don't know. I'm... I'm close to being done already. I... It's, this isn't... It's not worth it. It's really, really not worth it. I have a problem. I think I'm addicted. Really, I'm, I'm past the point where it makes any sense. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 100, 100 dollars per point per item per hunt. I just, it, I, I don't know how to fix the high. I don't know how to stop. I don't know what else I, I can do. I don't think there's methadone for, for scab, for, for points. And, and I'm like running dry already and I'm just gonna have to go back and I don't know how much longer I can do this. All right, so... So, we took a dip in the lake earlier this today. Is this yeah, it's fine. Yeah, all right, well, yeah. yeah we, we jumped in the lake. We all jumped. A lot of old people are like, who jump in the lake? We're pretty old. People say that to us sometimes and we did. Uh, we got dementia and forgot it wasn't addressed to us anymore. Yeah, I mean, even though the, the boat was burning, I was like, can't pollute the lake, gotta get it. So I slipped and, you know, I only brought one pair of pants. Scott on. I don't I mean, know. Well, while well, Alan was playing Captain Lynn <laughs> here, the reason I ended up in the lake was because I was a dumbass and I wasn't watching where I stepped and I hit a patch of like slick rock that was wet, covered in seaweed and proceeded to tumble into the lake. Yeah. I like to think I'm a widow throwing myself on the burning Viking pyre. <laughs> Having said that, I then ended up with a seaweed stain on my lower back, which I swear to God looked like the worst skin marks you have ever seen on a pair of pants. <laughs> it looked like I shat myself from my kidneys.
<laughs> and then we tried to dry our clothes. And then my shoes kept kicking up in the dryer door and flying out. So that didn't work, so I had no shoes. No, there were like, what, like, how many people? Like 50, 50 some odd people at the There was a pretty good set of witnesses for that one, too. Yeah. I don't think anyone else called into the lake. Uh, no, I think we were the only ones. Yeah, I wasn't even drunk then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but that was good times. No, I smell like lake. No.
<laughs> we just had the wine geyser. Um, so I was making the three-day wine and figured, oh, I'll put it in the cork top bottle. And I was an idiot and forgot to vent the cork top bottle before I left. And so I put it in a corner, forgot about it for most of the day. And then I came back over and it was, it was, you know, I had filled the thing completely with grape juice and yeast. And I walked back over and there was this like weird bubbly shit starting to leak out around the lip and it was like starting to drip down the side. And I thought to myself, oh, I guess I'll just uncork it now, not thinking anything of all of it. And it fucking exploded. It was a geyser of wine that hits the ceiling. Now, I don't know if you've seen our ballroom ceiling, but this is like two stories of a solid geyser of wine. It got over everything, including me. So I have wine in my hair. I have wine on my shirt. This is going to be like costume change number three I've gone through today. And just for reference, this was full. This was full before the wine geyser. We now have this much left. So that is my prize for the day. And best of all, apparently Vinny and uh, uh, Will, I think, were sitting around in Harold's chicken wing for the chicken, and probably at the exact moment that I uncorked this thing, we're discussing the worst cat disasters that ever happened. <laughs> I am proud to say this might be my contribution. My permanent mark on this ballroom is the series of splatter stains in the ceiling next to the exit doors. Yeah, that's how I'll go down in history. This is, in some ways, the hardest hunt that I've ever experienced. Going back to actual leadership from, uh, from Palace has just been a real challenge, and it would be much easier if Meredith wasn't such a fucking bitch all the time. Like, seriously, she is driving this team into the ground, and I don't know how much longer I can take it. She is too nice. She needs to be more aggressive. I understand that I just called her a bitch and then just said she was too nice. It's that bad. She is literally bipolar. I don't know how much longer I can stay here, and I'm afraid that if I leave this room, she will punch me in the jaw and then hand me an ice pack. It's been that kind of day. Ben! <laughs> ben, where are you? Oh, I killed William today. I mean, really, it's a process that started two days ago when I sealed him in an airtight container with no oxygen, but today was the day when I poured butane, where I replaced whatever was left in that container with butane gas and allowed it to slowly asphyxiate. And then, before he was quite dead, I, uh, I then made an incision into his abdomen and disemboweled him. But then he was still alive, so... The only place to go from there was to replace all of his internal fluids with acid. William's dead now. And I've turned his body into metal. It's a good feeling. Bottle cap is protected by patent number 4,506,795 and patent number 4,595,54 Zulu. I bet you didn't. I'm asleep now.
best of times yesterday, worst of times yesterday, um, and a massive feat of hydration. I drank coffee, more coffee, a milkshake, and more coffee before switching to beer, beer, whiskey, whiskey. Um, and I didn't drink any water in between. So last night I slept in a closet because Sleep HQ is, is really crowded. And I woke up at five in the morning and I desperately had to throw up. I threw up, it was fine, it hurt a lot. But then I went back to bed and I woke up three hours later and um, had to puke. But this time Alex Fix was in the bathroom. So I had to run around. Sleep HQ, dodging bodies, trying not to throw up on everyone, and barely made it to the sink, um, and puked my guts up again. Uh, it was deeply, deeply unpleasant, and I really just, it's midnight now, started feeling better again. Uh, but the good news is, um, <coughs> I, we were in headquarters and we're discussing what we were doing, and item, 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 so, so, we built a tower of dicks. <laughs> this is Alex's description, and I tweeted this, and it made the front page of um, the SCAD Tumblr, which the admissions website runs, which all the prospective students will see when they want to find out about SCAD, um, and which, um, yes, so I contributed to that. <laughs> I'm very pleased. Well, uh, yeah, how about that party? circular saw with no shoes or glasses. We have ants, which is bad, but we're using them to test the electroplating for the cockroach, so that's good. To everything a cycle in scab, right? Yeah. I see you. Normally, I don't get to work on regular labs. Usually, I'm busy coordinating road trip, helping other things. I am working on the chromatic typewriter and the painting that I'm going to do with it. So I said, all right, how am I going to do this? Well, I found somebody amazingly with an electric typewriter, and I need some sort of colored ribbon. So. Somebody had brought ribbon for like costumes or such. And I found markers. And I found, well, when I ink the ribbon with a marker and bam, hit it against a sheet of paper with the edge of the marker, it leaves a mark on the paper. So my goal is to do ASCII art with the typewriter and basically to do some sort of like painting like GIF or JPEG to ASCII, like Captain Picard or something. I'm thinking Star Wars, but I prefer Star Trek, so we're going Star Trek on this instead of Star Wars. Sorry. But I'm totally psyched about this, and oh, I can't wait for it to turn out. So this is my last confession, I guess, before John probably takes the camera away. Uh, I've been working on the webcomic literally all day. <laughs> working since mid-afternoon and I just haven't stopped and I'm about six comics in. It's all basic photoshopping and coloring and stuff like that afterwards. Um, I guess I just wanted to get in one last sort of parting thought before we have judgment tomorrow, before John takes the camera out and has to do the video editing. That's that I have had the most phenomenal year this year. It's unbelievable. I've had good scabs. I've had bad scabs. I have 
there's no correlation to winning in either of those measurements for me, and I've just had the most amazing year, and the most amazing people who have just been around me like this entire time, and I am kind of choked up, sorry. Um, yeah, so I've had a wonderful time, and I will never forget these last few days. It's been an absolute honor and a, just a pure joy to be doing scab with these people. Um, and hopefully we'll get to see all of them and maybe a few more next year. Um, and with any luck, we'll still have the ballroom. So, thanks everyone.